Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So one very interesting scenario and very complex use case today I got from one of the uh, LinkedIn profile uh, that uh, her name is uh, Naiza Shri and it's saying can we solve this? Hi Naveen, I tried to contact you through email. So I got her email also today to find the solution to my problem and the problem is that uh, she's saying could you please help me to understand of how do we automate below graph this graph is available. I tried reaching out to many automation trainers and nobody could solve it. After going through your video somehow, somewhat confidence that you could solve this. Below is the URL. I want to automate and fetch value from graph, which is uh, quite complex. Graph and EMI payment per year. Can you please let me know how can we do this? So we will go to the site and uh, I haven't tried much, but let's try to solve it now. So, uh, this is the application that they have created. I mean, they have given and in this application, if you see this, uh, there are graphs are available. Although graphs are not recommended to automate because uh, uh, difficult to, you know, difficult to UI and difficult complex uh, HTML expert and everything. So, so the, uh, the concept is that from this EMI payment per year, you can see it over here. We have to capture the details for each and every, you can see these vertical bars are there, right? So see, this is uh, year 2021. There is a tooltip also and a tooltip is gone the moment you uh, remove the mouse from here. So let's see, I remove, uh, uh, move to this particular element. It's saying something like this. Okay. Some year interest and total payment like that. Okay. And then there is a, uh, you know, orange bar and then there is a green bar. So here you will see that, okay, you can go to this bar also like that. And then again, you can go to the green bar also like this. So you, for every single bar, there are uh, two sections are available orange and the green for orange you can have a different tooltip and then for green you have a different tooltip so she's asking that is the exact same thing from this emi payment per year can you please let me know how to fetch the value from the graph so we just need to fetch the tooltip value the year interest and the total payment very interesting and very complex so let's see how to solve it so um let me just try to inspect it and let's see, uh, this is the first time I'm writing the code guys. I haven't tried it earlier. I just write this uh, driver equal to new Firefox driver or we can use a Chrome driver as well. Okay, we will reuse in Chrome and then we will check the same thing in Firefox as well. And then I'm launching the URL and then waiting for five seconds so that the page is completely loaded. And uh, let's try to inspect this guy and let's try to identify Oh, this is rect and this is G and this is available under SVG. So it's a complete SVG element is available. Okay. This is a SVG web element. It means normal XPath will not work here. Okay. So let's do one thing and this coming under this particular div and then I can see high chart and some number is there. So this number will be changed next time because uh, I possibly let's see if I refresh this and uh, you just try to inspect it over here and uh, here you can see that the number got changed so this is the dynamic id that they are using it but we have to start the xpath somewhere from here so i'll do one thing let's start creating the xpath for this guy and i'll just press ctrl f if you don't know how to create the xpath so you should know how to create the xpath you can watch a separate video on svg xpath creation so for xpath svg what you have to do start with let's see double slash and then i'll put a star over here and then we have to write the local uh, hyphen name which is equal to svg now there are 24 svg elements are available you can see it is right now it's pointing to this and then we have one more which is uh, like that over here right so this is the second one that we have reached it means under this svg we have to go inside uh, multiple g's and everything over here so here I can see that uh, I have to collect, uh, let's see, I have to go to the specific G. G is also an SVG element. So what should I do? Double slash star. And then I have to write, okay, where name, the child node name is a G. So it means there are a 41 G's are available. You can see one of 41, which is pointing to this pie chart also, but we are not bothered about this, this uh, pie chart. We are bothered about this. Uh, we will just keep running keep pressing and then we have reached over here somewhere okay so you can see that now we have reached over here like this it means i need this uh a g and this g also having see one more g 
then there is one more G is available like that. See, this is uh, this 12,000, 24,000 is represented by this. And this is actually I'm looking for actually. OK, this one I'm looking for. The exact graph is available because the data, the tooltip is available on that particular uh, vertical bar only. So after that, what should I do that uh, after name G and then I'm looking for where a class equal to this, right? So I'll put one end condition that end. I'll add one more attribute, which is equal to this. Let's see. OK, so now it is point giving me two. That's good. So we have filtered it out from 41 to 24, 24 to now. Finally, I think 41 to two now. So now it is coming over here like this. Now under this particular G, we have to collect all these rect. Can you see that the HTML tag is rect. So these are the SVG HTML tag. These are not the normal one guys. So this vertical bar is actually created by rect over here. You can see and it's having X coordinate, Y coordinate, something like this width and height and fill is equal to RGB, this color or whatever, maybe green color or something like this. It's written there or maybe orange color. This is a color code for orange. So this is a rect over here. So we have to jump from G to rect. And rect is again, uh, rect means I think rectangle and rect is again representing a SVG element. So what we have to do in this case, again, you write a star over here and then let's write name, which is equal to rect. Okay, nice. So now we are getting 42. Okay, so it means this is the first element that we have captured. See, it is pointing to this guy. Okay, so we have to point to this guy and see this second one, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21. And then again, it will start from the green from the beginning. Can you see that it's coming over here to this particular green? Okay, so see now 22, 23 like that. Awesome. So we got the complete list of orange plus green together. So there are 42. Uh, there are 21. A vertical bars and each and every bar is divided into two parts. It means 21 multiplied by 2 is equal to 42 web elements or SVG elements we have to capture. So I'll do one thing. I'll just capture this XPath first of all. I got this XPath. So this XPath is totally different guys. The normal XPath will not work in that case. SVG XPath is totally different. You can refer my previous one more video. I'll share the link in the description. You just go there. How to create what do you mean by SVG? Everything I have crystal clear. I've already explained over there. So we just go there and watch it. So let's see, I'll do one thing. I'm going to create one XPath here. This is my, for example, let's see a vertical XPath, a vertical bar XPath, whatever the name that you want to give. So I'll just paste it over here. Okay. And then what exactly I'm going to do that I'll do one thing that uh, I'll be using driver dot find elements uh, this time. And then I'll be using by dot this is my X path and this is the vertical X path. I'll be passing it over here and then I'm just uh, do one thing. Let me store in a list over here inside the list of web element. And uh, let's try this. This is my uh, vertical or let's see. This is my bars list that I have captured in a variable. And let's see first I'm going to print the size of the total number of vertical bars. So I'll just check that. Okay, is it really working or not? I'll say the okay system dot or print ln. I'll write total uh, bars on the graph, which is a uh, bars list dot size. So it should give you 42. It means here it's giving you 42. But in our script also is uh, selenium is able to read this X path or creating the list or not. So let's see. So run as Java application. I hope it should work. Otherwise, we will see some other approach. For me also, this is the first time I'm doing uh, this thing and uh, OK, let's come over here. It's waiting for five seconds. And uh, great, it's giving you 42 here. It means this is the right X path. So, so far approach is good. After that, what I have to do is that uh, we have to see this carefully that uh, we have to create a list. And uh, after that, you have to the list is already available and we have to go to this particular element one by one, I guess, right? Because then only this tooltip is available. You can see, right? So we have to move to this particular element. So how will you move? We have to use the concept of actions class. So what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to start a for loop here. And then this is my web element E in this particular bars list. I'll be using it. And uh, I'll do one thing 
I'll be creating the object of actions class out of the for loop and let's see act is equal to new actions pass the driver in the actions class constructor and then here act dot I have to use move to element method and which element the element is E here and then I'll be writing dot perform and let's see this is actually working or not so what exactly is gonna do that okay move to this particular element then second element and third element up to 1 to 42 it means 0 to 41 times it will be moving it means 42 times it should move to that specific element and then I'll do one thing let's do one thing thread dot sleep for 500 milliseconds it means for every 0 0.5 seconds you just move to the second element like that okay so each and every element in every 500 milliseconds just move it over there so let's see it is still here it's working or not okay so manually I'm just you can use a scroll into view also up to go to this particular uh, section but uh, see awesome see this is absolutely working fine it is going to e it is moving to each and every orange bar then it will go to the green bar perfect and uh, awesome this is nice this is what I want so see it is going to each and every uh, the tooltip you can see that okay and then once the 42 is done it's the program is done perfect there are no exceptions absolutely working fine so far now the real thing is that I guess because the how will you capture the tooltip text so we have reached over here so when you mouse over this tooltip is will be visible can you see this year 2021 interest or total payment so the question here she is asking that you have to fetch the value from the graph uh, okay we have to fetch this particular value year interest and the total payment that three values you have to capture it now the problem is that how will you inspect this guy see this is a tooltip the moment you try to inspect it's gone so I cannot inspect so I am not able to create any locator for this so in this case let's do one thing what you have to do you have to go to sources and then you have to pause in the debug mode so just simple press f8 over here function f8 from your keyboard so what will happen it's saying that okay paused in the debugger mode and then you just go to element and then what you do is you start the pause once again and then you just do once again a mouse over the tooltip will be visible and then again press f8 it means pause the script pause the entire dom so you can see the paused in debugger the chrome dev tools uh, completely will be paused over here now i can inspect this tooltip okay so see this somewhere it's coming over here but see i'm not still i'm not able to inspect it properly so i'll do one thing see it's coming over here so let's keep scrolling down somewhere see this is in this particular g we have already reached and uh, all these rect will be over okay which is fine this is again g another g is available and let's me go to the last g yes see finally i found this particular tooltip here I'll just open this G this is again SVG so this tooltip is also made of SVG guys this is like another level of <laughs> SVG element and uh, I don't want any path all those things so let's keep scrolling down this is what I want now so there is another text is available this is again SVG and the text is having 3 T span over here and the actual text is available can you see that year 2021 this is your interest amount and this is your total payment amount so I have to reach over here so how will you reach so in this case I'll do one thing I'll just try to modify the XPath slightly that um, okay so let me just remove uh, all these things from here so name equal to G that we have reached okay but we are looking for which we are looking for uh, somewhere over here once again I'll show you once again let me go to this graphical okay this G so we have reached here and then keep scrolling down we have to go to um, G and uh, we will directly do one thing we can directly capture this G see this G can you see that high charts label high charts tooltip is available right guys see this this is the complete three classes together we can take it and then I'll put uh, one and over here I'll simply write at the rate class which is equal to this this is awesome we have reached here 
and then after this G we have to capture the text so this text is also an SVG so you cannot write single slash or double slash text over here see it is giving you zero because this is a wrong X bar what do you have to do you have to create this star once again and then you have to tell that name of your SVG element is equal to text here this is perfect so this is where we have reached so I'll do one thing I'll just capture this XPath now and then we will try to capture the get text so we will use in selenium dot get text method which ideally should give me year interest and the total payment right so let's copy this this is a game of SVG XPath guys then only you can solve these kind of problems otherwise uh, it is like really really difficult to solve and then you should have some really good practice on uh, XPath creation <coughs> okay so this is vertical actually so let me write vertical and then I'm writing this is my uh, what this is my uh, text xpath something like this whatever the name that you want to give and I'll just paste it over here so this is my text xpath that I have written now what I want that uh, you wait for 500 milliseconds by the time that uh, the tooltip will be visible and from this tooltip you capture this text so can I do one thing that I simply write that driver dot uh, find element by dot xpath which xpath the text xpath and then from there you capture what you capture dot get text it means capture the text so it will should give you so because till here we have created the xpath it should give you the text of these three uh, child elements from t span so let's see it is working or not and I'll do one thing I'll store in a string and uh, let's see storing in a text over here and then print it on the console system dot auto print ln print it on the text okay so let's see this is working or not so right click on it go to run as java application so in every 500 millisecond it will move to the respective vertical bar and then it should keep capturing the text on the page so let's see oh nice awesome can you see on the console guys we are cap getting the exact text this is perfect this is how we have to capture the uh, you know values or the text from the graphs and uh, on the graph also we have uh, these uh, uh, tool tips and see this is absolutely working fine for all the 42 you can see on the console for all the 42 vertical bars and once this is done the program is over and then you can use this to validate your data whatever for the respective year wise according to your expected data this is your actual data you can match it with your database or APIs also you can do that so this is uh, the approach that I have used okay but let's see this is actually working on Firefox or not so I'll be doing one thing I'll just make it to Firefox driver and uh, let's run it again and let's see awesome yeah see this is time which is absolutely working fine on Firefox as well it will go to each and every orange bar in every 500 milliseconds and uh, perfectly working fine this is super cool right guys see this is how we have to automate the graphs so let it run completely and uh, there are no exceptions it's absolutely working fine and then done you can see the data is coming like that okay now I'll do one thing let me just comment this thread dots leave from here and then I'll I don't want to wait for 500 milliseconds between two vertical bars so let's run it again okay so it will be a little fast now because now we are not waiting for 500 milliseconds okay so yeah awesome see this is so nice great perfect so this is how guys we have to solve this problem now let me check with the uh, back to this uh, chrome driver only okay I'll be writing chrome driver and uh, commenting out I'll be running in the headless mode so I'll do one thing I'll just going to create the object of chrome options which is co is equal to let's see new chrome options and import this and pass one argument that is co dot add argument and then I'm passing hyphen hyphen headless over here okay and then pass the same co here and let's see it is actually running it is picking on headless in headless mode or not so chrome will not be launched this time but it's running in the headless mode and let's see it is working or not 
so i really want to check that okay the move to element is working or not see it is absolutely working fine guys in the headless mode also so this is how we have to solve these problems so the query is solved there is uh, no problem to handle such like graph or svg graphs so whenever you see certain graphs especially on some you know bankbazaar.com or emi calculator or some any banking application where you have to display the data in the form of graphs so generally we say okay graphs are not recommended to automate but i think we can automate and it's like easily if i can do that so it's a game of uh, what svg xpath if you are really good in these things and you really really know how to play with the xpath inside a dom with svg you can easily automate such things so that query is solved i'll share this thing with uh, her also and i'll upload this video and uh, just have a look i'll share this code also in my repository and just have a look and just try i'm giving you an assignment you have to capture the text from here actually the total interest tooltip and uh, principal uh, loan amount 41.7% that you have to do it okay later on we can uh, do some interesting scenarios like that you can just move it to from here to here like this also you can do that these are the complex scenarios guys right? not very straight forward but that is in some other video we can try that so that's all for this video guys if you like this video please like comment and share share with others so that people also get to know how to automate certain things complex use cases like that with selenium till then take care and god bless you always